Hey everybody, it's your crazy fan girl Shami. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be watching the fifth episode of Outlander. So we were left on... I'm trying to remember because it was a few days ago that I reacted to it. I'm trying to remember. Oh yes, we had some really cute moments between Jamie and Claire and Shishfarad. And we also obviously had like a little romance between one of the guys from Jamie's like militia and the woman from the... What was her name? I think Alessia. She was from the village. And now there is a little bit of like kind of like... um. Trouble between Jamie and Roger. Don't really care about Roger, but I do want to see what kind of happens between like that sort of thing that's going on there. Um, and also we had some stuff to do with Stephen Bonnet. Not a lot, but there were hints of it, you know, Brianna becoming really, really like, um, not manipulated, but she's very scared that he's coming after obviously her son. So that's going to be interesting. And I feel like that's obviously going to be explored in this episode more. And I hope it is. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but to also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, video games, and movies. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into this. Oh no. Oh, that's so good. Oh, Jamie feels really happy. He's relieved. Watching as the silk shimmers and vibrates through the cosmos. Awakening the real spiders. The ones lurking deep within the recesses of our own natures. Oh, the diamond. I felt like I needed to see him in person. Oh, she hasn't. Has she told Claire and Jamie that too? That's why he gave me the diamond. Because I told him Jamie was his. He, he was kind of gonna die, and I thought that it would be of comfort for him to know that there's something of his left in this world. Roger, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I, I didn't know if you were coming back, and I was scared. Mm. Yeah, but, and this is probably the first time I've spoken in this reaction. This is, we're, we're already like 20, yeah, we're 25 minutes in and most of the episode in all honesty has been a bit boring. This is the most interesting thing that's happened all episode so far, apart from the thing about Murta. Um, it's understandable why she did that, I guess, but it's also a bit like, mm, like I know she was trying to, like, she was obviously upset and I, I can never speak for someone who has been raped or been in that position before like I can never like connect because obviously I've never been through it but I will say that you know even though she did say that I guess it was a little bit silly because you know the, like in all honesty none of us know if it was either Roger or Bonnet's child because you know in all honesty we don't know um <sighs> Because obviously because of the times and it's different. It's not like now where you can just straight away go get a, like a test and see what the gender or like who the father is, like the DNA and stuff like that. But at the same time, I think for Brianna, like I know she was trying to kind of like in a way not... I feel it was a little bit weird to say comfort, but like may, I feel like that was a bit torturous to do that to someone like when they're dying to know that they have a child or something like that. Um... But yeah, I don't know, I feel weird about, like, even thinking about it now, I feel a little bit weird that she even did that, but anyway. They are just words. Words you can never Yes, but words are powerful, Brianna. Yes, they do. Stephen Bonnet is still alive. What the Why would you tell him that? Maybe it is for the best that they do go back. Especially with all the pain she's going through. Give a pardon to Murta! Control, Jamie. Oh no, is that the list? Why would you 
would you say that? You would have done the same. Ugh. <gasps> Don't kill him, Jamie. Okay, starting off, this wasn't my favourite episode, in all honesty. I was, like, it was just all over the place for me. And I got lost a few times, so I, ha I did go back and rewatch it as we were going um, a few times. Especially that beginning. That beginning part was very boring to me. Um, but, yeah, let's start off with the big point. Um, with the whole thing about, you know, granting clemency on Murta at the beginning and then, you know, like, saying that to Jamie, you know, as a cover-up and then, you know, revealing that, you know, it was only for the rest of them except for Murta, like, they still wanted Murta. So that was, like, that was a little bit, like, eh. Like, I was like, okay, cool. Like, we got it so quickly that I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I was kind of feeling like, oh, it's too easy, like, for them to just, like, let him go. So I was like, there has to be something else. Um, but yeah, that whole thing where Jamie revealed himself to be, um, like, someone who was on that list. And I love that conversation between him and Knox because, you know, you see the difference between Knox and Jamie. And they're so different because, you know, no matter what, Knox puts country before everything else. And then there's Jamie who, you know, at one point he did want to put country first, but then, you know, he obviously found Claire, and then he realised the, you know, he, he found the importance of family, so important that he always would put his family first, and even before Claire, like, he always put his family first, but, you know, as they got more into a relationship, and as they had, you know, Brianna and stuff like that, um, like, family became more important. And it was so interesting to see that dynamic, especially there's that one shot where both of them are in frame, and you see the difference, and he's asking, like, you know, which one's the better man? And, you know, in all honesty, it's Jamie. Um, but yeah, you know, like, Jamie didn't have a weapon in his hand, but straight away, Nox grabbed the knife and stuff, and in that frame, it was so perfect, like, just showing the difference. And, oh, that was an amazing, like, cinematic moment. I like that. Um, also, the stuff about Bonnet. Jesus. It's very conversational because it's like, it's, there's two sides to it, you know, like, obviously with Brianna, she obviously wanted to say it to Bonnet, you know, in, in a way of kind of like revenge, you know, instead of violence, she said it through words, but words always have consequences whether you like it or not. And, you know, unfortunately Roger had to find out what she said and, you know, obviously he's going to take it badly because, you know, that's, he always would think about that as his son. But Brianna has gone and, you know, told, you know, um, Bonnet that that's his son. So, you know, obviously that gives him an idea. And it's sad because, you know, yes, Brianna didn't need to tell Roger that. But, you know, Roger's been through so much shit. Like, she could, yeah, in all honesty, she could have, you know, said stuff. But those are, like, some of that is, like, and this is something that I like because it's in relatable in real life, I guess, you know, like, people would call it really petty in in some people's minds. You know, like, those little things. Like, you know, you should have told me this. You should have done that. But those are the little things because then you see, like, different people's personalities. Because it's like, that shows what's important to them. So, yeah, you know, Roger, he doesn't know if his son is his son. And yet he's still, you know, loving him. Like, caring for him and stuff. You know, he went through the test with Aunt Jocasta, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, he's always there. He's never questioned it. But, you know, like... It's, like, in a human instinct, you still want that reassurance, you know, like, I, like, I am the father, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I really, I actually really like that on the writer's part. They did that part really well, and I like that. That starts conversations, like, especially for videos like this, and, um, it's a very interesting topic, you know, especially because of the fact that, you know, they're two parents, and, you know, especially in this time, they don't know, and they can't find out whether it's, like, who's the father. So that's the thing. It's very, very interesting, and I like that conversation. Overall, though, I will say, though, that this episode was boring. Like, I like the fact that they integrated stuff from the future with Claire. And, you know, I like that whole thing where, you know, like, it clicking. Like, you know, if it weren't for that guy who passed away, unfortunately, from the allergic reaction of penicillin, Claire wouldn't have gone to London and then she wouldn't have gone to Scotland, like she said. But 
it still was quite a boring episode in all honesty. I was looking forward to this episode because I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, we finished off the episode previously, you know, with those two lovers leaving. So then I was like, what's going to happen next? Because I don't watch the promos for the show. So I'm just going in there blind. But this episode, I will admit, was very, very boring. And yeah, I hope the next episode picks up with more interesting things. And yeah, I just, I hope we see like just more. More interesting stuff, because I'm starting to like the show. This episode wasn't the best, but I did like the stuff with Jamie and the stuff with, for once, the stuff with Brianna and Roger. Um, just that conversation of, you know, that stuff again about, you know, like, who's the father and the son, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. I hope that the next episode is going to be interesting, because I really like this show, and I, I've I'm started to like season five, so I hope the next few episodes are going to be better. So thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the new episode of Outlander, episode 5. Um, again, wasn't the best episode. I didn't enjoy it that much. So I do hope that the episodes that are coming are going to be better. Um, I just wanted to quickly say, remember to stay safe. Look after yourselves, look after your families. Um, I'm currently, like, being careful myself, like, going to uni and stuff. Like, today I didn't go to uni, but I probably will have to go to my class next week. Because, unfortunately, they haven't shut down the universities properly. They're just doing online studies for some subjects. But photography, they're still in the midst of kind of deciding. So, <sighs> it's a bit annoying, but gotta do what you gotta do. So, yeah, I have to do that. And, you know, just remember to look after yourselves during this like pandemic like it is scary reach out to your loved ones look after yourselves make sure you guys are okay um i'm probably gonna start like isolating myself in all honesty soon like if university doesn't shut on all the other days at least i'm gonna isolate myself because you know you can it's it's everywhere so it's dangerous remember to look after yourselves look after your loved ones and just take care of yourselves that's the most important thing so again thank you so much for watching this video take care and i'll see you guys in the next video crazy fangirl out Woo!